So section 2.2, this is trig functions that are, are non-acute. So yesterday we did acute angles, and today we're going to do non-acute angles. It's very similar, so that's why we're going to throw it all together. So the first thing that we need to talk about are reference angles, and I've kind of talked about them briefly. We're just going to make sure everybody understands exactly what a reference angle is. So for an angle theta, there is a positive acute angle made by the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. All right, so let me show you what I mean. If this is All right, so here's my coordinate grid. Not a very good one, but here's my coordinate grid. And let's say here's my angle. There's theta. All right, so it says for every angle theta, so there's theta, there's a positive acute angle made by the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So this is actually the angle that we're talking about, the pink theta. But the terminal side and the x-axis create an acute angle right here. I'm just going to call that theta prime. That acute angle is our reference. All right, so there's one in quadrant two. So this will be when theta is in quadrant two. It looks kind of like that. Let's see if it was in quadrant three. So theta is actually greater than 180 degrees. It goes all the way around, stops in quadrant three. So this big pink angle is theta. The reference angle, now remember, the reference angle always goes back from the terminal side to the x-axis. So, in this case, this is my theta prime, or my reference angle, from the terminal side back to the x-axis. All right? And then, If it went all the way around and stopped in quadrant four, so in this case, theta is bigger than 270 degrees. It goes all the way around, stops in quadrant four. The, ter the um, terminal side back to the x-axis means that this angle right here is my theta prime. That's your reference angle. So reference angles are always acute angles from the terminal side back to the x-axis. Always back to the x-axis every time. Um, so here's one in quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. There's no need for reference angles in quadrant one because any angle that ends in quadrant one is already acute. So quadrant one doesn't have reference angles. So um, I've said it a billion times, and I'll say it a billion more, I'm sure, before we are, are done with this stuff, but 
always from the terminal side to the x-axis, always. Don't ever, ever, ever draw back to the y-axis. All right, so now let me show you how the problems are going to show up when you get on My, My Life's Plus. It's going to give you a problem. So here we go. They say find the reference angle. And the first angle they gave me was 294 degrees. So you can do it, you can do it without drawing a picture, but I do think drawing a picture is always kind of helpful. So I'm going to draw a coordinate plane, and I'm going to think, all right, I start over here on the, the initial side, and a 294-degree angle, that's 90, 180, 270. So 294 is going to end up over here somewhere. So my reference angle is from this terminal side that I just drew, back to the x-axis. So this is the reference angle. Well, okay, if my angle is 294 degrees, all of this is 294, how am I going to find this remaining piece? Subtract that from 360. Exactly. Subtract that from 360 and you'll find your reference angle. So in this case, my reference angle is 66 degrees. Everybody okay? Easy enough? All right, so then what's going to happen if they give me one that is way bigger? Just go around a couple times. Again. Yeah, so, so you don't have to draw it around all those times. All you need to do is take your calculator and just subtract 360 until the number that you get is somewhere between 0 and 360. So let's see. Um, 883 minus 360. Got a minus 360 again. All right, so I get a 163 degrees. Um, that's what I can actually draw. All right, so that means I'm starting over here on the initial side. 163 degrees is going to be over here somewhere. Even though 883 is my actual angle, I know this much is 163. So my reference angle is going to be from the terminal side back to the x-axis. So my reference angle in this case is going to be 17 degrees. Everybody okay? Easy enough? 